My Korean name is Moran. Moran. That's my name. In my Korean name, it's the name of Kim Jong Il's production company. So that's how Asian that is. Um, I have a, a friend who's even more Asian. Her name is. Yeah, that's pretty. That's really wow. How do you spell that? Is that, is that like a K or a C? It's just like it sounds. <laughs> All right, folks, we're back now with one of the legends of comedy right here in our studio. A Rolling Stone calls her one of the 50 best comedians of all time, by the way. Her live and livid stand-up comedy tour is making stops throughout the country, and we are so excited to have yes, her here today. Please are. help us welcome the one and only, the iconic Margaret Cho. Woo! Thank you. Oh, I have to tell you, growing up, my mom's Korean, so I'm half Korean. You were the first Korean I ever saw that didn't have, like, a boring job. That gave me permission to do something fun, so thank yes. you. Thank you. It's incredible. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and you're very funny as well. We Thank are you. obsessed with your hot takes. Yeah. So we want to ask you some things that are happening right now and get your take okay. on them. Okay. First off, The Golden Bachelor. I love The Golden. I love, Carrie is so beautiful and I love the women. I'm a little young, so I'm 54, but should, do they, I don't know if they switch it up like they do on Love Island. You know, they welcome a new beauty to the villa. You're like, down for I it, could huh? come in like as oh kind of God. like a last minute, like a, a junior varsity gold. I'm like a silver bachelorette. Everybody's love, watching that show. I love it, but yeah. I love that you don't have to uh, give up on love, mm -hmm. yeah. no matter what age. And what a beautiful, everybody's so beautiful. I just, I love it. And they come out with their like different ball gowns and everybody's shining. I want everybody to win. I mean, I guess only one person can. Yeah, there's yeah. only one Gary. Yeah. <laughs> For now. Yeah. I was watching last night. I literally could not step away. I just want to cry. Yeah. I want to cry. I want them all to have that romance moment. But maybe this is good for like, you know, it gets them out there. It gets them out dancing and, you know, in the dresses and maybe, you know, makes them more. Well, this will not be the end of the search. You know, if they don't necessarily get with Gary, they can find somebody else and mm -hmm. they just don't have to give up. I don't want them to give up. Right. And so it I inspires love that. others to find love as well. And exactly. Never too late. It's never too late. It's never too late to have hope. It's never too late to uh, to give up the dream. Yeah. You know, you don't have to give up the dream. Love. It makes me so happy. Okay, so from TV to football and concerts, Taylor Swift mania, Amazing. Swifty mania. I love her. I love her as also being a long time Swifty, like forever. Like I get, I'm so into the fandom. Like I'm like a, a five star general in the BTS army. So oh. I definitely get into like a fandom, like very, very hard. I'm like so into this. I'm loving that she's just everywhere all the time and a very big way. So not only conquering everything with the Eras tour, but also movies. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what a, what a start. We've all known it, us Swifties have known it, but now the the planet knows. And the Travis That's Kelsey true. of it all, how do you feel about that? I love it. <laughs> I want like, her to have, As long as Taylor's happy, I'm right? good. I want her to have love too. That's the thing is that it can be very lonely at the top. Mm -hmm. For somebody like her who every, every move is right. scrutinized. It must be so difficult. So I just want her to be happy as well because she makes so many of us happy. So I want her to have that. And on a serious note, uh, comedians are needed, especially during times like this, you know, where you see conflict across uh, the world and, and some of the things that we're going through here in this country. Do you ever feel the pressure to like strike the right tone? I think it's like as long as you are looking at it from a place of hope. And that's why I love The Golden Bachelor. It's, it's really ex the expression of hope. We want to have hope and comedians, I think, really understand that we're just in the market of selling hope. So that's what I think has to be in everything. Like, that's what I want to be all about. So I'm just about a hopeful outcome to all of it. But is there pressure to make people laugh? <laughs> I think so, always. What's the job? <laughs> it's, in the jo it's in the job description. <laughs> so I think that's the old, that's the, as long as you're like looking to be an entertainer as well, that's, that's what I, I think, you know, you want to be, and I'm like really into achievement as the Koreans, we love <laughs> achievement. <laughs> so I'm into that too. You've been doing it for 40 years. What's your secret sauce? Uh, soy sauce, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of spice, like spicing it up and also just having fun, mm. having a good time.
Well, the next stops for Margaret Cho's live and livid stand-up comedy tour will be the Paramount here in New York on October 22nd. And you've got many more stops to come. So if you want to see you. it. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.